It's night and day. Night and day back again. Yes. We found the first tree, but it was a lie. So we're going <laughs> to keep going. <laughs> it was a facade. <laughs> It was a lie like this kid's childhood. Yeah. <laughs> this kid's childhood is a total lie. <laughs> this guy's childhood just goes on and on. Oh, yeah. It's not exactly for the best. He's very oh, good. man. That fox. Whenever she jumps... Yeah, she starts to nosedive. Like, I don't oh, think yeah. real woodland creatures do that when they jump. I would hope not, or else there'd be a lot of suicidal wood woodland creatures. Wow. She, she has that jump like... Like basically a swimmer trying to dive. Right. In the pool. Yeah. Yeah. She's like Michael Phelps. <laughs> oh God! Back to that again. We are back to the Last Guardian. The first tree and the Last Guardian have so much in common. It all comes full circle. That's what the Last Guardian was guarding. The first tree. Oh, well, I the thought the first Guardian was guarding the last tree. I thought the Last Guardian was guarding Michael Phelps. For some <laughs> I was like, this doesn't make sense. The Last Guardian was guarding Michael Phelps' giant vat of fish. <laughs> I mean, I hope not, because the last guardian, all all she would do would eat that fish all day, every day. She'd probably eat this fox, too. She's a monster. <laughs> she had a voracious appetite. Yeah, definitely. She ate children, for God's sakes. Oh, so this one's just right here. Yep. The other one was like... Hunky-dory plopped in the middle. Let's see what this is about. My dad built a lot of stuff in his free time. If he wasn't watching fly fishing or reading Tom Clancy novels, he was carving something. He made tons of birdhouses. Not that he was into bird watching, but I think he really missed working and adding on to the home. If he couldn't afford the time to build onto our own house, he would have to settle with watching birds move into their little homes. We kept an old mattress in the bed of that ugly yellow truck, so we would drive it deep into the woods and then watch the birds fly into their houses while the sun set. Usually it was accompanied by venison jerky or a cold coke, but not a lot of talking, which is how we both liked it. Okay, so the mattress was him and his dad, not him and his wife. Huh. Okay, okay. so... Called that one wrong? <laughs> it's pretty, uh... It's pretty exact opposite of that, I guess. His dad but. sounds like one of the most boring people in the entire world. <laughs> yeah, he just come home, do this bird watch, or do all this stuff, and then leave. His, and, like, never talk to him again. His entertainment consists of watching, fly fishing, reading Tom Clancy Clancy's novels. What is that, a plug? <laughs> yeah. Does this guy get development help from some people on the Tom Clancy staff? <laughs> okay, so, watching fly fishing, is that even a thing? Okay, watching yeah. fly fishing, reading Tom Clancy novels, or carving something like this is the world's most boring person like somebody could come home from work and watch tv and then eat dinner and go to sleep and that would be more relevant and exciting than this guy oh my god this guy's so boring <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's not exactly winning uh, awards for what he's doing in his in his free time i like that he takes his son out to the forest or whatever and they hang out and drink soda or whatever have a nice <laughs> bonding moment i guess you could call it i think that's yeah. pretty cool but i mean he they don't say anything to each other they just kind of like sit there with coke yeah but you can have those sorts of like quiet bonding moments i guess yeah and I, it make a difference with your father apparently they did, they liked it that way so they probably didn't actually get along with each other still <laughs> but yeah I mean, watching the birds and birdhouses is still kind of on the insane boring <laughs> side. I guess making a birdhouse with your dad is cool, like, doing that, but I don't know about, like, just sitting there watching fly fishing. Nah, there's no way I'll get that. I feel like I have to get butterflies for that. <laughs> but... Yeah, Travis is back playing again, Yeah, so that's me. Okay. You'll see... A lot of failed attempts of things. We'll see, yeah, moving forward with the story more quickly, but... Probably missing more jumps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> more, yeah, more definitely. We finally found something that I can do. I, yeah, <laughs> I'm terrible at this. Who would have thought? All the aiming and shooting games that are all Travis, but <laughs> for apparently random jumps I can do. Even if I'm most distant, 
at the times when I detested him the most. He kept reaching out. For a year straight, he asked me every week when we were going camping. I thought he was just dense. Eventually, to shut him up, I agreed. We carried out the worn lawn chairs from the garage and set up a cinder block campfire at the site we'd always used behind the house. We walked down the mountain path, talking in the warm sunshine we only got a couple months of the year. Those three obsidian rocks shimmered alongside the shore, almost like sparklers pressed against a dark window. I'll never forget that wet stone on my feet, or how those massive mountains looked even bigger in the lake's reflection. I felt small, but grateful. As the sun set, my dad found something I hadn't seen for a long time. The tree where I'd made my first carving when I was six. I hadn't even carved it. My dad oh, helped oh, me, hello. but I still oh, called it my tree. We found his name. Something Finally. about seeing my name there made me open up. And we talked about everything that night in that old camouflage tent. I told him how much I loved sketching and design, and how it would be a dream to study architecture in Seattle. I told him how I didn't get along with my friends much anymore, but that I didn't mind being alone. He told me he was there for me, and he joked that if all he had to do was write my name on a tree to finally get me to talk, he would have left me carved logs with novels on them in front of my room every morning. I don't know why it took me that long to realize it, but it was then I knew how much he had sacrificed for me. Okay. Maybe his dad died, and that's what. <clears throat> Maybe yeah. This whole story is about him reminiscing. It could be like he never. Well, he even got to. Like, he got to reconcile with his father. So, I don't know why. Like, you feel bad in that case, but I don't know. You'd still feel bad if your dad died and oh, you yeah. got along well with him, even if you reconciled. <laughs> Especially if you reconciled, if he hated him the whole time and right. was just like, "No, oh, dad died, good riddance." <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I'm saying like it would be worse if they were like both stubborn, so they didn't want to, like neither wanted to be like the first one to say like sorry or whatever, and then it. Like he died or something like that, and they never got a chance to. But it seems like they turned out to be having a good relationship. So. Yeah, and then yeah, we get to just, the next area, and it's like, yeah. And then I murdered him. Yeah. And then in cold blood, I killed him. I wish I didn't have to kill him that day, but. <laughs> I felt so small with that giant axe in my hand. And I finally said to him, Dad. Thanks for teaching me, you're leaving me your legacy. Now I'm a carver too. I became a serial killer. Oh my god. I still carve my name into my victim's chest every time before they die. Oh my god. And then you just hear Rachel screaming <laughs> in the background. <laughs> oh man, it. that'd be so twisted. <laughs> that'd be so sick if this turned into like this insane horror game. That'd be amazing, actually. That'd be a cool twist. Yeah, an amazing 180. I can't even jump on a branch. Okay. <laughs> oh my... Hearing the agonizing screams of my victims still brings me closer to you to this day, Father. Thank you so much for all you sacrificed for me. I will make sure that the sacrifices continue to flow in return. I will sacrifice for you as you've sacrificed for me. Countless lives. <laughs> Tens, dozens, hundreds. I will continue to kill them all <laughs> in your name. I know this is what you would have wanted. Oh my, I can't walk up this. Okay, thank you. Yay! Thank you, for that. you did it! Oh my, finally! <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like we're gonna get warped in. The perpetrator stood nearby, unfazed. Oh. Like nothing was wrong. Was it a wolf? My dad is dead. And he's never coming oh, back. Oh, baby! No! I can tell you these stories, but I can never reminisce with him again. He can never hold a grandchild that we'll probably never be able to have. I can never talk to him again, and I'll never be able to say I'm sorry. 
for everything. Okay, so he is feeling bad about Don. Wait, you can sniff the cub. Oh, that, that was me sniffing the cub. Oh, that's when she lies yeah, down? Yeah, that's when she lays down next to it. That looks like a wolf. A fox isn't going to take down a wolf, so... Yeah, we are. If that wolf killed our cub, let's kill that guy. Get, Get back here, here. monster. I'm going to murder you. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, oh. Oh, man. There's a glowy path. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh no really? They're now. vicious with these. Wow. You have to get them all on the first try. Wow. There it is. Wow, okay. Well, we all know I'm not getting it, so. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck on 100%ing uh, this. Yeah, on this, you needed to know it was coming, really. Yeah. The super steep cliff of steepness. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have put it any, any other way. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the fox says. Oh! <laughs> As it just keeps running. Maybe that is what animals think of when I, they're moving around. Like, do animals appreciate music in any way? I can't imagine. Because they would be more on beat with things that they do. Well, they some an okay, some animals show zero grace. And right. yeah, they're stumbling in. They're kind of idiotic. Some animals do move with grace, though. So there could be some sort of rhythmic interaction going on there. Like a graceful, majestic bird or something like that? I, th or? I was thinking more like cats or wolves. Hmm, because I don't know that like cats would, because I've seen some cats do like super weird things. They just like kind of exist in an alternate reality. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just like, <laughs> they just like freak out if you put something next to them or something like that. Okay, you're going, but, this is a weird stretch that you're going down. <laughs> so, Can animals appreciate music? It goes to cats <laughs> exist in an alternate reality. <laughs> Because, <laughs> like, I've ever seen those videos or something if you put, like, a flower on a cat and just malfunctions and it stops working. Yeah, but there's it's also, like, there's like, derpy types of cats, but then, right. yeah, there's also super ninja cats where you can see the videos of cats that are, like, like, the entire floor will be littered with glass or trash or something and the cat will, like, daintily step across every tiny possible safe place. Right, across, yeah. Like, perfectly. Without even looking, it's just like do 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 do. Oh yeah, okay, you're gonna die by t trying to walk across this. No problem. I, <laughs> I yeah, I mean, I guess you could see, but I don't know if that's necessarily like if they have that in their head. It's like oh, do, 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 do. <laughs> like as they walk across this thing. Right. Like, I doubt they're playing tracks right, in their mind. Right. But, yeah. I mean, that might imply they, the if, ability to. You're saying that they can keep a rhythm just based on their movements alone and stuff like that. Yeah. Like the, or at least they would have the ability if they can do the perfect moving in step the perfect way. Like there's some sort of intrinsic math going on there, and mm -hmm. if there's intrinsic math, then that implies rhythm. consistency with rhythm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Rhythm can be appreciated. Because I, I would definitely say a bird moving its wings requires some form of rhythm because it has to be consistent in how it's moving. So what does this I, I crazy like hill music. hold for us? We finally got to the bottom yeah, here. finally. I do like the music in this. Uh, it's pretty cool. So we learned what the first tree was. That was pretty cool. Oh, let's see. So I, don't I wonder know if the game is wrapping up already. Yeah, I don't know if, what that wolf means, what that entails. But yeah, because we found... I don't know how many... I need to go to bed. Okay. I just can't talk about this anymore. Good night. Good night. Rachel doesn't say good night? Okay. Sometimes Rachel responds and sometimes she's like, yeah, whatever. Rachel's just totally annoyed with you at this point. Rachel! <laughs> say good night to me. <laughs> I, don't know what that, I don't know what that wolf means. It's pretty cool. I don't know how many kids there are, like how many kids the foxes have. I think it was two other cows yeah, that she, she said. Yeah, she said two other at the yeah. beginning, so yeah. there's still one left. So one more. I guess that final one kind of indicates like a wrap-up or something like that. Is this... Yeah, next. Oh, we're warping to the next area. And scene. More fox tracks ahead. Naughty dog. <laughs> I make this too. <gasps> Oh, cool. Oh my god. Okay, wow. This is incredible. Joseph, you can't go to sleep feeling like this. 
I'm sorry for everything, and I know you need space, but I'm here for you. You don't need to feel so lost. Joseph, have I ever told you what my mother was like? Oh man, this area is amazing. This is incredible. Are we seeing Rachel's point of view now? Are we gonna hear her backstory with her teenage years and her mom? <laughs> this is gonna be like their entire like family history or something like that. Is this a Pokemon? What is this? Is that a deer? Looks like a deer, yeah. I guess is that Rachel's point of view? You know what it's like not to have a mom at home. And you know how hard that made my childhood. What helped me was watching the birds in the morning before the school bus came. Oh. <laughs> I thought that my mother was one of those birds. And it made me want to be free like her. My mom taught me how to fold origami creams while she was in the hospital. So I told myself I would fold one every day until I could fly myself. Wow. This is... Okay. I'm enjoying Rachel's point of view. <laughs> like, if this is what's representing her, yeah, that's wow. fantastic. So far, I like her point of view. Yeah. <laughs> Initial impression, hers is ten times Oh, better. yeah. <laughs> right off the bat. It's like, yeah, this is amazing. Look at oh, this place. Yeah. This is rivaling uh, Journey for me. Yeah, this like, environment is amazing. Yeah. This, this is just incredible, my goodness. So, well, it looks like we'll have to continue on getting Rachel's point of view next time. Yeah, wow. We'll uh, definitely tune in for the next one because it's just fantastic. Absolutely breathtaking right now. So, we'll see what happens in the next one. Yes! Run with the deer! I feel like you're gonna murder me. Are you smiling? <laughs> what?